It is still early enough in January to ask you to reflect on 2019. What was it to you? A growing year, a learning year. For Denver, it was the coldest year in decades, but this change in weather doesn't mean a change in climate. Meteorologist Corey Rappenhagen explains the difference. Colorado began 2019 under the influence of a weak El Nino weather pattern, which gives us a better chance of precipitation. That held true as five of our first six months had above average precip, which is mainly from rain and snow. Then the El Nino faded to neutral in August, drying us out with the exception of Snowvember. The big pre-Thanksgiving snowstorm provided nearly a whole month's worth of moisture in just two days. Temperature-wise, 2019 will go down as Denver's coldest in 22 years with an average temp of 49.6 degrees. The seventh coldest May on record and the fourth coldest October was mainly to blame, despite a near record warm September sandwiched in between. So does this mean global warming is no longer happening? No, this is just one city and one year. Global warming refers to the temperature of the entire planet in at least 30 year intervals. It's the difference between weather and climate. The final numbers will still take a few more weeks to calculate, but when you look at the average temperature for the entire globe, it's estimated that 2019 will finish as the third or even maybe the second warmest on record. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for next.